apologies for keeping you waiting. We hope that this would not happen again and that subsequent let the citizen know encounters would take place promptly. Good afternoon, citizens of Ghana and our friends from the media. We thank the good Lord for this day. We say that his mercies are new every morning and great is his faithfulness to us. We'd like to welcome you to yet another edi edition of the Let the Citizen Know. This session of the Let the Citizen Know is to specifically update the citizenry on the just ended exhibition of the Provisional Voters Register. On behalf of the Commission, I thank you sincerely for your support that you have accorded us as we continue with preparations for the presidential and parliamentary elections on the 7th of December 2020. I take this opportunity to assure all our stakeholders that the Electoral Commission as currently constituted is resolute in its quest to deliver credible, fair, transparent, peaceful electoral processes and elections for Ghanaians. As has been our hallmark, the Commission will not relent in providing regular, comprehensive updates to the public at every stage of the electoral process. Ten days ago, on the 18th of September, we officially kicked off the 2020 exhibition of the Provisional Voters Register. I'm happy to inform you that all the 33,000 367 centers across the country that were earmarked for the registration exhibition exercise were all operational. And we thank voters who visited, who visited those centers to verify their details. As part of the Commission's commitment to ensure the safety and security of all its stakeholders, the Commission put in place stringent safety protocols at all exhibition centers throughout the country. In addition, the Commission appointed COVID-19 ambassadors to ensure that the safety protocols put in place were adhered to. The Commission notes, however, that during the first few days of the exhibition exercise, participation was lower than anticipated, especially within centers located in the urban areas. Comparatively, Centers located in rural areas recorded more active participation right from the first day of the exhibition. This could partly be attributed to voters within the urban areas preferring to utilize the Commission's SMS short code 1422 to verify their details. Indeed, due to the convenience, a considerable number of voters tried to verify their details through the SMS short code ahead of its activation on the first day of the exhibition exercise. This resulted in a long queue within the SMS system after it was activated. Unfortunately, a few prospective users who were caught in the queue did not receive their details and had to reaccess the system to obtain their data. The Commission regrets this. I'm happy to note, however, that the SMS short code worked efficiently and served its intended purpose of providing a convenient and seamless platform for voters to verify their details throughout the exhibition period. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, with a view to piloting the biometric verification devices that will be used to verify the voters' biometric details on the 7th of December 2020, the Commission rolled out 5,340 biometric verification devices during the exhibition exercise. At least 20 biometric verification devices were deployed to every district. These devices were successfully used and enabled prospective voters verify their biometric details, that is their facial features and their fingerprints. We are informed by our officers that those who used the biometric verification devices 
had a good experience as a technology employed worked effectively. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, as we are all aware, the commission extended the exhibition period to allow for further inspection of the provisional voters register. The commission constantly forward, updated, forwarded updated register, registers to the various exhibition centers. The extension allowed stakeholders the opportunity to verify their details in the updated registers that were sent to the centers throughout the period. I state categorically that the commission has no intention whatsoever to disenfranchise any person or group of persons. Such an assertion is false. The issues we experienced with the registers were widespread and were not concentrated in any particular region or district. However, I emphasize again that throughout the exhibition exercise, the commission constantly updated the registers and forwarded same to the affected areas to enable voters verify their details. I'd like to come to the purpose of the exhibition exercise as envisaged in law. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, regulations 22.1 and 23.1 of CI 91, and join the Electoral Commission to compile a provisional register of voters for each polling station, indicating the particulars and photograph of each person whose application was received and accepted during the registration, and display it for public inspection. This process is not new, and it has always formed part of our electoral processes. The term public inspection refers to the act of citizens carefully examining and scrutinizing the provisional voters register to ensure that the contents are accurate. The vision of the lawmakers, therefore, was to provide stakeholders with an opportunity to unearth problems and issues with the register for the purpose of addressing and fixing them. Additionally, the law goes on to provide for inclusion during the exhibition exercise to allow persons who registered but whose names are, were not on the register to file to be included in the register. In other words, the law envisaged that even in the most meticulous process of voter registration, the process is not foolproof and therefore it provided a clearly spelled out mechanism to correct all errors and omissions in the register. This mechanism is the exhibition exercise that the commission has just concluded. It is important to note that the commission comprises competent and diligent men and women who fully understand and respect the great mandate handed to them by our constitution. However, in the execution of various duties, human and administrative errors do occur. We wish to state unequivocally that we have the ability and the competence to fix and resolve all the outstanding issues with the register. And we are doing so in an open, transparent, and accountable manner. Indeed, to date, a significant number of the issues identified at the start of the exhibition exercise have been resolved. We continue to work to reduce the deficit to the barest minimum. And we are confident that at the end of the process, we will be quick Ghanaians with a register that reflects truth and light, a register that is credible, and a register that has integrity. This is the spirit and letter of the just ended exhibition exercise. <coughs> I'd like to turn my attention to the exhibition statistics. In my last address, I emphasized that the Commission fully upholds the view that central to free, fair, transparent, and peaceful elections is credible and accurate data. To achieve this objective, it is vital that every eligible citizen is provided the opportunity not only to register as a voter, but to verify his or her details. As such, 
Over the last 10 days, citizens have been afforded the opportunity to verify their details to ensure that they are first of all captured in the register, and secondly, that their details such as sex, age, name, etc., are accurate. The exhibition was largely successful as it afforded the Ghanaian the opportunity to verify their details. Additionally, it enabled the Commission to address the gaps in data and fix and resolve the issues along the way. It is important to emphasize that the omission of names in some polling stations was widespread. I did mention this before, but it's important that we emphasize on that again. It was not concentrated in particular regions or districts. I'm happy to state that 600, in, in terms of verification, 698,404 voters verified their details using the commission's SMS short code. I'm happy to state that 698,404 voters verified their details using the commission's SMS short code. Similarly, 7,271,498 voters verified their details physically at our exhibition centers. Combined, this translates to 